This question comes from Nefertiti H. Cool name, by the way. Very cool. And she says, My 38th birthday is tomorrow, and I've been thinking, if my birthday is the day that I forgot how divine and infinitely connected I am, then I can't say that I see too much to celebrate about. 38 years ago, I was gloriously awaiting my human experience. I was full of love and joy and being connected to all that is. Fast forward all these years and I have a dermoid cyst on my ovary along with fibroids which are making my 13 week pregnancy challenging. So I just had a new perspective on the celebration of birthdays. Any concepts that can be added to this ever expanding structure I call my life will be greatly appreciated. Blessings be. Well Nefertiti that's kind of a really cool question and I have to say I've never asked it myself nor have I heard anybody else ask it. And what I think you're saying is, look, the day I got here is the day that I engaged in the illusion of separation from source. Like before I came into being as a human being, I was infinitely connected. I was in touch with the all that is. I had such expanded consciousness and then boom, all of a sudden I'm a baby and I enter into the various stages of amnesia that we all suffer. So why do we even celebrate that? That sounds kind of like a bummer. Well, you know, I understand where you're coming from because this life can be hard and this life can be difficult. And, and you say here that you're experiencing some physical challenges and issues that are maybe bringing you down. But you have to know that we signed up for this gig just as it is. And when we came here, like we got suited up. That's how I look at it. In fact, I had a vision around it. Let me, I'll tell you about that in a second. But we suited up, we went down the chute, and we came out a human being. And we wanted to be here. It was something we absolutely chose. I do not believe in compulsory reincarnation. I believe that if we're here, it's because we wanted to be here. We knew that there was a quality or a substance to this life that we could not experience anywhere else. Now, I've read a lot of channeled works, and some of these works are actually channelings from people who used to be alive and who are now dead. So they're not necessarily avatars. They're just people who passed, who crossed into the light. And they always say, you guys don't get it. <laughs> you don't know how wonderful it is to just be able to eat an apple. You don't know how beautiful it is to be in love with somebody or be intimate with somebody. You don't know how great you have it living on that lush green planet. So many people in these channeled readings, so many deceased people seem to really miss it and want to remind us of this radical, awesome experience. And yes, it can be painful. Yeah, there can be a lot of challenges, but I guarantee you it's worth it. I guarantee you, you were chomping at the bit to go down the chute and enter the world as a baby. And I guarantee you, when you pass through this life and you go back into the light and transition into the fullness of who you are, you're going to miss it. Sounds crazy, I know. Because again, this world can be crazy. But that's absolutely the way that it is. Now, I said at the beginning of this that I actually had a vision about birth and it was really cool and I was like on a spaceship and there was a pod and I was getting into the pod and there were about five women who were dressed in these beautiful ornate robes of jewel colors like purples and reds really the colors of the chakras and they were all around me as the lid to the pod closed and they flipped some sort of a switch an initiating switch and boom down this chute through the ship I went and into space like into the blackness the void if you will and soon after I awoke into the human form and in a specific human experience that was going on in that vision but it really felt familiar to me is the only way that I can explain it like I wonder if we're like 
space pioneers or we're like cosmos pioneers that agree to do these weird, wild experiments in this particular dimension and we come in with the intention of experiencing it fully, knowing that we'll, we'll forget why it's so awesome, but also knowing that when we leave it, we'll remember why it's so awesome. So I hope that helps. I hope that you just ask him for a little perspective. You know, you're just asking the question like, why should I celebrate? Well, you should celebrate because it's awesome to be alive. You should celebrate because people who have passed through this life and who are now in another dimension wish that they could experience the things that we could experience, even the hard stuff, which is hard to believe, but it's true. Thank you for such an awesome question, Nefertiti. And if you have a question, don't forget, send that question to me at TuesdayQuestions at CrystalAnnCompton.com. That's TuesdayQuestions at CrystalAnnCompton.com. And until the next episode, I hope that you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. Bye, guys.